Hello, today we are introducing the Mega TC3231 thermal camera. This is a versatile thermal imaging device designed initially for engineering purposes. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it is being used as a primary defence device for assessing potential risk and identifying possible infected persons. It is important to be aware that this is not a medical device and will only register the surface temperature of an individual. The elevated surface temperature may indicate that a person has a fever. This may or may not be COVID related. It is important that persons showing an elevated temperature are not made to feel discriminated against. Elevated temperatures can register for many conditions that are unrelated to COVID-19. This could be as simple as being overheated from the rush into work. It is important you follow your company protocol for COVID-19 symptomatic people. But as a minimum, we would recommend that anyone presenting symptoms of an elevated temperature are asked to sit for a while, take extra readings and make an assessment on those readings, therefore eliminating possible discrimination. For clarification, this device will only read the surface temperature of a person, so may read below normal body temperatures or above depending on the ambient temperature of where the reading is taking place and other environmental reasons. For example, an employee who has been inside an air-conditioned office may read lower than normal and someone who has just come inside from being in the sun may read hotter than normal. An infected person with a fever will typically stay above the normal temperatures after coming acclimatised to the environment, so multiple readings will need to be taken to ensure a positive reading. Please use yourself and other people around you as a baseline for the current normal skin temperature to give context to your readings. A positive reading may also be below the expected 38 degrees. Use the context of other people around you and yourself as reference in making a decision on whether a person is showing signs of an elevated temperature. Your Mega TC3231 will arrive in this sturdy case. It has everything that you need to set up and start operating with the camera. Normally from out of the box, we would recommend that you charge the, uh, the batteries just to be on the safe side, but it should come completely charged with the SD card already in it and ready to use. You also have an assortment of uh, plugs for wherever you happen to be, a charger, the associated cables, an SD card adapter and a tripod. The unit itself is robust, fits nicely into the case. On first use you open up the, uh, the cover, ensure the lens is clean and you turn the system on using the button. The menu button and the enter button most people should be quite used to using uh, with setting up most electrical equipment. The menu itself is accessed through the menu button. This is your initial setup. Information can be gathered also in the quick start guide. EMS is quite a, a short term for emissivity, which is how the thermal camera operates. We would recommend that the emissivity is set to 0.97. If it's not at 0.97, you can enter it and adjust with the up and down arrows. Once you've reached 0.97, go back to the main menu. The next one down is the symbols used for the temperature. We would recommend that we use degrees Celsius if for any reason you want to change that to Fahrenheit again you enter change using the up and down arrows and then exit you can set a maximum and a minimum if you enter maximum and minimum it will just come up on the screen as maximum and minimum temperatures we believe that this may confuse things so we would recommend that this is left off however click of the button turns it on and you can have it on. If I go back to the camera 
It will show at the bottom there the maximum and minimum temperatures within the view of the camera. So we can move it to a blank wall and you can see it changing. As I said, we believe that this would confuse matters, so we would recommend leaving the max and the min off. Nice and simple. The PLT, got absolutely no idea what that stands for, but it's the uh, the color range that the, uh, the camera uses. Uh, we would recommend it set to rainbow uh, because when uh, you're using the, uh, the system, it gives the, the best color range uh, for viewing the temperatures. And again, if you want to change it for any reason, you can. You know, you might find that the high contrast is a nicer color for you, but we would recommend rainbow, enter, and that's that done. Date, again, enter, you can set your time and date. Enter gives you the date. Back to menu, down to time, and you can set the time. Back to menu. The next setting is memory. Uh, this records the uh, pictures that you've taken of uh, your personnel as they've been uh, used and it will be stored in the memory uh, so you can access that uh, later. BGT is your background temperature. Uh, we would recommend that you just leave that um, at uh, 25 degrees. Here you have on the next one alarm you can set alarms for high and low temperature. Again, we, we don't recommend that you use this um, simply because uh, if it starts beeping while you're pointing it at a person, it may aggravate the situation and we want to keep situations as calm as possible. So although you can set high and low temperature alarms for this, COVID-19, we would recommend that you leave these off. Next one is display. Just set your brightness. We would recommend full brightness. Your distance is the distance measurement. You can set it from feet or to meters, uh, depending on how you are operating, whether you're keeping a two meter distance or six foot distance. Uh, for your social distancing, you can change the setting there. Language. Most of us, I think, using this will uh, be English. However, you do have a selection of languages that, uh, that you can choose from. And basic information is just information about the TC3231. We get TC3231, seen from the front and from the underneath. This little flap here has your USB charging point. This is the trigger for taking the temperature reading and recording it on the SD card. And within the grip is the SD card, top right hand corner as you look at it, and the battery. Battery is rechargeable, it's a lithium ion battery, should not need replacing for quite a few years. Okay, so we'll go now to how to use the camera itself. As you can see from the screen, we have a heat source. The heat source could be a human face. And if you're unsure of what the heat source might be, you can go to normal camera mode you will see that it is actually a lamp. But that gives us a good representation of a heat source. When you're taking a, a reading of a person, you would point this at the person. You would use the crosshairs in the center of the screen to target their forehead, which is the premium place for uh, registering the temperatures. Depending on the circumstance, the nasal passage is also a good indicator, but it is more difficult to get a reading. 
from a safe distance of two meters. A new trigger, press the trigger and it will take a picture. It takes a snapshot. If you move it, it stays. Your red button will stop it and it won't be saved. The green button will save it and save it on the memory card. See the X and if you leave it for a few seconds, it will automatically reset. The up and down arrows will allow you to change the, the, the settings on the screen to the different color temperatures. So this is basically a 50-50. It's almost a photograph and it's almost uh, thermal. If you carry on down, it will become just a picture of a lamp. So we recommend obviously using it on the full thermal, use the trigger to take the picture, delete or accept, accept it will go onto the memory card and that will be stored until you either download it on your PC or you want to use it for anything else. It stores up to 6,000 images uh, on the SD card so no problem with using this multiple times. Once the threat of COVID-19 has been eradicated and we are back to normal, the TC3231 thermal camera is a versatile and useful tool. It can measure possible hotspots in distribution boards, electrical plant, it can also indicate where heat loss occurs in building. So when this is all over, please use the TC3231 for its original purpose and do not just put it in a cupboard waiting for the next pandemic. This will show you Lots of information from cold spots, hot spots, and a lot of useful business uses. Thank you.